the main reason I really do this channel is to help people. It's that simple. I love helping people discover the stars, find out what's out there in the cosmos. Many of you will find me also on Cloudy Night, Stargazers and Reddit, just helping individual people when they have some questions. It's really that simple. First and foremost, thank you. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed, liked and commented on this channel. This one will be more specifically for all of you who are already subscribed, who are watching my videos. I know you are many, <laughs> at least half of the views that I'm getting is from people who have already visited the channel. So that's something great that you guys are interested. And of course, the more people are interested, the more I get motivated to put even more content out there. I don't think I have actually introduced myself yet. <laughs> Not that I remember, so my name is Evel Mechkarov. I come from Macedonia, but I migrated many years ago to Czech Republic, got a scholarship here, and I've been living here since the last 30 years almost. You know, I started with astronomy when I was really, really, really young. Basically, since childhood, I've been watching Star Trek, uh, studying astronomy, studying astrophysics. I even won the Olympiad in Macedonia in 1998 in the field of astronomy. The very first optical instrument that I had was a pair of binoculars. And if you are thinking about starting uh, astronomy, if you are thinking about starting observation, just get a pair of binoculars. You don't really need to get the 12 inch Dobsonian like I have, <laughs> although it is highly recommended. Now I want to talk a little bit more about the channel, what I'm going to do with the channel, why I've started the channel and all of that. The main reason, believe it or not, that I started the channel is I just wanted to put some good quality information out there, few videos, nothing more. And that's it. I was going to go, go and to do whatever else I was going to do. <laughs> problem a little bit was that the video became very very successful. The first properly made serious video that I put was the review of the Skywatcher 200p, a really great telescope, check it out. Somehow it made it to the top search of Google and the views kept pouring in and it's still generating a lot of views. A lot of uh, people find the channel through that uh, video. After that I was not satisfied because I saw in the astronomy community there was a lot of elitism, especially in some of the local uh, forums. Guys were recommending a lot of ex expensive eyepieces and I found out that the budget eyepieces are perfectly good. So I made another video. <laughs> still generating a lot of views, still a lot of, a lot of people see it, really happy about that. The situation was similar with imaging. As I got into imaging and I'm an IT professional by profession, so I know what camera sensors are, I know how they work, I, I know what is compression. I found out you don't really need a $500 camera. Of course it's the best, we all know that. But for our purposes you can do excellent imaging. I mean just look at this, what I captured a few weeks ago. Excellent detail with a cheap $50 camera. If you haven't checked that video, make sure to check it out. Then I heard that star parties are a really nice place to go to meet some people. So I went to one, made a report on that. It was an absolute blast. So I can highly recommend get a star party if you can. The next big project that I took on myself was to understand how tracking with an EQ platform works with a Dobsonian and build one myself. That was quite the undertaking. It took me a long time to understand it. It took me a long time to figure it out, but I did. It was quite painful, but to be honest, it was actually pretty profitable as well. <laughs> because by the time I was done with these two videos, with the plans, you have plans there, check it out if you want to build one yourself. I actually made $500 in profit. <laughs> Some guys showed up and literally told me, please sell us this platform. <laughs> Some more people have contacted me since then, but I'm like, Sorry, I'm retired. I'm not making any one of these for now. Here are the plans. Here's the video guideline. 
Come on, build it yourself. Now one of the best milestones I ever did was to observe the entire Messier catalog with my 8 inch. After I was done with that, I started thinking about a 12. And it was the best decision I ever made. The 12 was so good that I stopped using the 8 and I actually sold the 8. So again, I documented all of that. And what I'm going to do in a few months from now is make a proper good quality review of the 12 inch. The problem with the 12 was that it is F5. So suddenly all of my budget eyepieces, which were working very, very well in my 8, were not so great in the 12. So obviously I had to invest a little bit more into eyepieces. And here in that video, I made really nice overview of what are the differences and if it's worth investing for you or not. And during that time, I was thinking maybe I should get a better adapter for my cell phone. As chance would have it, some guys from Move Should Move contacted me and wanted to sponsor a video. Again, one of those serendipitous moments, just when you need something, it arrives out of the blue. So that was another really nice video that I, again, recommend checking out if you want to. And then, of course, I covered a couple of more videos about the best ever IPs in, on the planet, but as well with some cheap barrels, which are pretty good as well. And finally, my favorite videos on these channels are actually these two where I talk about the actual objects that you can observe. Unfortunately, they are not getting as much views as the other videos. <laughs> Everybody prefers to talk about uh, equipment, mirrors, eyepieces, I get it. But at the end of the day, I think we shouldn't forget that the whole reason why we do this is to look at these amazing uh, objects. And that leaves me to today. To be honest, I was not trying too hard. Some of you told me that I should get a better audio. So here we have it. I have a new microphone. Hopefully my voice is now a lot better. I hope so. It's the first time I'm using it. <laughs> and what can you look forward into the future? Into the future, I really want to make a video on UHC filters. These make a very big difference with nebulas. I want to do a special video about observing and imaging the sun that's really fascinating but i don't have the filter yet bother needs to produce it so i can put it on my 12 inch another interesting topic is imaging even though i don't really like astrophotography i can make some imaging tutorials of how to image the moon saturn jupiter you can make some really really nice images as you can uh, see here with some processing Another idea that I have is maybe I'll visit the planetarium here in Brno. It's a really nice planetarium. Maybe if they let me shoot a couple of videos with the big telescopes. We'll see. That's far into the future. And then I really want to cover more the topic of trash scopes. Every now and then on Reddit, online, I see people buying these complete trash telescopes and I think they should be warned. Yeah, I don't see... Too many videos out there warning people why these telescopes are so bad so that's some something that i want to do and it's pretty high on the priority list now, other than that you will also find me on linkedin feel free to connect with me professionally my day job is in management in a corporation so very different from my hobby which is uh, astronomy at the moment and just recently thanks to 1000 subscribers and many watched hours youtube actually monetized the channel so they are giving me some money back from all the ads that they are showing. By the way, they are showing the ads, no matter whether I monetize or not, it's not my choice. But if you're going to give me anything back, I might as well take it. <laughs> and thanks to that, now I can buy some equipment. I can invest some more money into some more astronomical equipment. We'll see. We'll see where we take it from here. You might have also noticed there are a lot of links in the description of the videos. These are some affiliate links, I get a couple of percent and on the other side people get some really nice products which I highly highly recommend. If you find the link in my description you can rest assured that it's tried, tested and I really recommend it. I will never accept any sponsors of lousy products. I'll give you an example, one of the guys who are building a telescope on Kickstarter, they said how about you do us a virtual review of our telescope. I'm like, what do you mean virtual? <laughs> if you want to do a 
Review? Send me the real thing. They said they'll call me back. I'm not holding my breath here, yeah? <laughs> so you get all these kinds of offers, crazy offers. And I think above all, the main reason I really do this channel is to help people. It's that simple. I love helping people discover the stars, find out what's out there in the cosmos. Many of you will find me also on Cloudy Night, Stargazers and Reddit, just helping individual people when they have some questions. It's really that simple. My main belief is that the more people look up there, the more they will realize there is more to life than just uh, chasing stuff and fighting each other. Yeah, so that's one of my life's missions. Help all of you guys get closer to the stars. It's that simple. And we do it with whatever tools we have. It would be great to have a starship like Enterprise, but for now we have to be content with our telescopes, get the most out we can from them. And looking back, I don't think anybody is the same person after they have seen a whole galaxy with their own eyes. That's the best thing that can happen in your life. And I hope continue helping people discover that thank you to everyone who has watched this far thank you for your subscriptions and i look forward to making even more videos on this channel and why astral fields really simple i love astronomy astral projection and quantum field theory you put all of these three together you get astral fields <laughs> What is astral projection? You might want to check one of my very first videos from several years ago on this channel. If I have missed any topics that you would like me to cover, please comment down below. If you have any favorites of what you've seen so far, again, please comment below. Until next time, over and out. It's 4 a.m. here. That's the only time I have to do these videos when both my kids are asleep, everybody's asleep. The cat here is making all kinds of noises, but I hope it's not on the video. <laughs> Talk to you next time. I'm going to sleep. I'll be cutting this video during the week.